YouTube, man. What's good with it, y'all? It's your boy, Shuhi15, back with another video. Yo, girl's favorite sneaker collecting, man. And today, I got a couple pickups I'd like to show y'all. Just some few slight things I ordered recently off of Nike. I picked up at some places and offer up, etc. And without further ado, let's get right into it. So right here, we have all the pickups that I've recently gotten. You can't see it all just because the lens won't be able to show all of it. But as you can see, I got this dad cap right here. And I got one, two, three, and four shoes. Four new shoes to show y'all that I recently just picked up. We're going to start from the hat and then make our way down all the way down to the last shoe. And it's going to be a minute, so let's just get right into it. So starting first with the dad hat, we have this guess and ASAP collaboration. On the front, you can see it says password but across the middle in white embroidered letters. If you, It's just an overall basic dad cap. It just says password with the $2 sign, just like it says in the ASAP logo. Nothing really special, but if you make your way back around on the left side towards the back of your head, you see the guest jeans. You see the old guest jeans embroidered logo right there. It also has the $2 signs like the ASAP logo. But overall, just basic dad hat, yellow, summer. Can't go wrong with yellow in the summer, summer color. Uh, I can go with mostly anything. This will set off your outfit completely. So, and if you want anyone like to look at your head or anything, just wear this and you'll definitely get the attention. But overall, yellow is an underrated color. So you can throw this on with a white t-shirt and keep it moving. You'll be looking fine. But overall, that's the first pickup, the ASAP guest collab dad hat my next pickup is the cement threes from 2010 i saw these off of az threads instagram for a hundred bucks I, I couldn't pass it up i've always wanted a pair of these shoes the most problem with threes is the cracking along the midsole right here with the paint chipping mine has a little bit but for a hundred bucks i really couldn't pass it touched up with a little bit of paint but besides that there's really no problems you see it's all over good there's no ripping the elephant print in the forefoot or the heels not really messed up uh, overall for a seven year old sneaker great condition can't complain at all uh, I already worn mine so it's a little bit of creasing here in the toe but one of my best sneakers in my collection already uh, if you can make sure to follow AZ thread on Instagram they always be posting good shoes for good prices you knew used all that other good stuff for really good deals uh, yeah man just cement threes 2010 release 100 bucks couldn't pass it up my next pickup just came in the mail actually two days ago and it's the motorsport fours i know what y'all thinking like why did you get the shoe it's a gr it's still sitting everywhere here there blah 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 but i actually got this on that nike flash sale that if you followed the instagram accounts or twitter accounts that i told y'all follow my one video you would have known that you could have got these for 113 dollars compared to 190 yes 113 compared to 190 you could have got this shoe like I did saved me a lot of money I couldn't pass it up for 113 uh, they're probably gonna go on sale even lower than that here in the future but I just wanted to snag my pair just in case uh, I recently wore that I wore these already uh, I wore them with my alternate 89s just the red version of these pretty much and I wore one and the other because I it's just like that just like the top threes but it's just the top fours, I guess. You already know the shoe. I'm sure if you've gone to the mall, you've seen it, but I'll just run it over just a little bit. You got your white leather all around the shoe. You got your white netting here with the black background. You got your hints of blue towards around the midsole. On the back, it's not Nike, it's not, uh, Nike Air. It's just the regular Jumpman. Same with on the uh, tongue right here. Just run through the forefoot. You have your white net. On the inside, you have your white Jumpman. Just your basic, or blue jump man, sorry, your basic blue jump man, black heel tab. Uh, if I were to rate these quality wise, scale 1 to 10, I'd give it a 7. Uh, the leather quality is not that good. Uh, I would, only if they, if they tumbled it, I would give it a 9. And the 10 would be the Nike Air on the back. But a ton, if it was tumbled leather, that'd be, that would have been a lot better. But I really can't complain. $113, I could not pass these up. And yeah, Motorsport 4 is my second pickup. Or, my third pickup. Alright, so my next pickup is this shoe right here, and these are the Air Jordan 12s in the playoff colorway. Uh, just a basic black and white shoe that I could use just to keep it moving, you know, put it on with anything and just walk out the house. Uh, on the side, you have like your Stingray pattern type deal, and up here, you have your tumbled leather. 
all through the forefoot or all through the side of the foot and the same thing's pretty much replicated on the side you have your black you have your gray side panel right here back on the other side it says Air Jordan right here you have your red jump man on the tongue and if you flip it over on you have the heel pull tab that says that has the Jordan logo right here and it says Jordan and it says quality inspired by the greatest player ever which is false because it's LeBron James but that's just my opinion and right here you have the number 23 embroidered in the back of the heel uh, overall good shoe great quality for back when it released it released about I would say seven years ago I'm not sure but just overall good black and white shoe uh, my what pickup is this my one two three four my fourth pickup the Air Jordan 12 playoff last but not least my favorite pickup out of all the pickups that I've gotten I wanted this shoe since I first saw the release pictures from Nike I thought the leather quality was great I didn't have the shoe in my collection not this model and I was like yo I gotta get this saw the quality it was amazing impeccable and if you saw the video my New York video you saw that I got the jewel Air Force ones in that clay pink colorway which is on sale by the way so if you want to grab those look for it I'll see if I can link in the description for y'all y'all can go ahead and buy that but I got the jewel version of another famous era Nike sneaker and this is the Jewel Nike Air Max 1. As you can see, this your re your ruby red Jewel swoosh. It's smaller than most Nike Air Max silhouettes. Right here you have your Zoom Air Bubble. All through the side is just a smooth, ridiculously great, quick, great condition leather. You have your Nike Air Max right here on the tongue. And if you move right here, you have Nike Air on the back. Look, look, you could just see, I don't know if you can see it, let me turn this brightness down. You could just see the leather just, like, just look how good that leather is. Sorry for the scuff mark, I did wear these already, because, you know, your boys got excited. But, yeah, man, that's just Nike Air Max 90, or Nike Air Max 1, I should say. Just the jewel, the ruby red jewel Nike Air Max 1. My favorite. Thank you all for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed my five pickups. I believe it's five. Whatever. We're just going to go five. My five recent pickups that I got. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Share with your mama, your daddy, your brother, your sister, your girlfriend, your Uncle T, everybody in your family. Besides that, this has been your boy, Shuhi15, man. Your girl's favorite sneaker collector, bro. I'm out. Peace.